So today we have Will with Up Close Inspections. He is a pretty well-known home inspector in Saskatoon. Will, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and some background information? Um, I started Up Close Inspections uh, in 2018. Uh, so it's been about five years that I've been doing inspections now. Um, I'm a journeyman carpenter. It's been in construction for over 20 years. Uh, I've built many homes, done many renovations. Uh, at some point, I realized that many people don't know what to look for when they're buying a home. Uh, so uh, even many home inspectors don't have construction experience. So I knew I could help people make better choices. So that's when I decided to start this business. Awesome. It's good to hear. Yeah, I've uh, let people know I've used you for a few home inspections and things have always went well. I, I enjoy how you talk to clients with calmness and ease. And so I enjoy that. So uh, the next one, what are your credentials? What kind of schooling or courses did you take? And why should a person use you as a home inspector? Yeah, so I have several uh, different accreditations in the field. Um, I graduated from the Professional Institute of Home Inspectors. Um, I'm also an active member of InterNACHI. Uh, so that's a, a home inspectors association that requires uh, their own classes to be taken. Um, not only to get started, but every year uh, um, to continue furthering their education. Uh, the learning's never done uh, on site or in the office. Um, I would say more than anything, though, having that construction uh, history is uh, indispensable. And I like to think gives someone like me a considerable advantage in the industry. Yeah, I would have to agree for sure. And so next question, how much does your service cost and uh, what kind of makes it go up or down in price? Yeah, so most home inspections will cost around $450. Uh, apartments and condos are usually a little bit less. Um, if it's a really big house or has some extra outbuildings like shops or barns uh, that clients want inspected, uh, those things could cost a little bit more then. So a question I get asked a lot, is a home inspection really needed or worth it? Yeah, so I hear this question a lot. Um, for very few people, I would say it's maybe not needed, uh, but for the majority of people out there, yes, a home inspection is needed. Um, all good home inspectors will have experience and specialized tools that most people won't have. Uh, thermal imaging camera, for instance, is an expensive tool uh, that most people won't buy for themselves, uh, but they simply don't need one, but it's an absolute must for home inspections. It's It's so important, in fact, that I don't charge extra for it, it's just included in all of my inspections. So training is another part. Uh, most people, when they're looking at a house, are concerned about whether their furniture will fit, if they like the paint color, et cetera. When I look at a house, I'm looking for hazards like aluminum wiring or discontinued electric, electrical panels, asbestos mold, the condition of the windows, roofing, foundation, and many, many other things. Uh, most people don't know what to look for. Um, they won't climb into attics or open electrical panels. So yes, for most of the general public, a home inspection is very much necessary. Awesome. Yeah, I like to tell my clients that you inspect things that could cost them quite a bit of money in the future is what I like to say. And it's always good to have a, a detailed list of everything that's wrong or small or little with the house. <clears throat> So on to the next one, during a routine home inspection, are there things you are not allowed to inspect or use? Um, so as a member of the Saskatchewan Realtors Association, I'm granted access into people's private homes they are selling for the purposes of an inspection. Uh, so I take this very seriously because no one likes a stranger in their home unattended. So personal belongings and furniture are a couple things that I'm not allowed to move. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty free to inspect the entire house, um, every nook and cranny, everything that I can possibly see. Awesome. Just a little side tangent. I always like to reiterate when people buy a new home, I think they should always get an inspection within the first year and bring what the home inspector finds to the builder so they can fix it within that one year home warranty. What do you think of that? I would agree that that's a good strategy for sure. Okay. Um, well, that is all the questions I have today. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell the folks at home? Yeah, I would just like to say to make sure you're working with professionals. Um, everyone involved, uh, the bank, the appraiser, the realtor, the, the home inspector, 
all these people work together and having good knowledgeable people at realtors is priceless. It really goes a long way in making it a smooth transaction for everyone. Um, so ask questions, uh, get to know your realtor, uh, your home inspector. What you don't want uh, for a home inspector is someone who helped his buddy build a shed one time and has no idea like how a house is built or how all the systems work together to keep your home happy and healthy. So I could not agree more with that. So thank you for your time and we'll, uh, we'll be in touch. Well, I'll put your email and number in the description so people can reach out if they have any questions for you. You're very welcome. I appreciate it, Tyler. Thank you.